Welcome back to Frontend Insights. Today we are diving into one of the coolest feature of Angular 17, Signals. This new addition is said to revolutionize the way we handle state management in our applications. So let's get started. Okay. Signals are a new primitives in Angular that allows us to track and respond to state changes in more efficient way. Unlike traditional state management solutions, signals provide a fine-grained approach to reactivity. There are two types of signals. One is writable and one is read-only. Okay, writable signals can be updated while read-only signals are derived from other signals and cannot be directly modified. Okay, so let's uh, setting up Angular 17. To work with signals, uh, we first need to set up Angular 17 project. Let's create a new project using the angular cli and install the necessary dependencies once our project is ready we can start by creating our first signal okay so uh, we will implement the writable signals okay so writable signals are the backbone of state management in angular 17 uh, they are simple to create and use let's create a sig signal to track the number of user clicks we will also see how to update the signals value and how angular optimize rendering when the signals value changes okay so let's see the example uh, let's create a writable signal to track users click uh, we will start by importing the signal function uh, from angular score library i have already imported in my exam uh, uh, in my code okay so then uh, now we will create the signal uh, with an initial value as a zero i already did that here in application okay uh, then uh, to read the signals value we simply call it like a function okay so i did the console log there okay uh, yeah i did the console log there and we can see in the console count is zero okay count is zero uh, then Okay, so uh, uh, let's let's create the one button so that uh, okay so so that when the user clicks a button uh, we want to update a signals value we can do this using the set method okay okay uh, first of all let's create uh, uh, the button here uh, the click uh, click method here and the method name would be like update uh, update signal okay. Uh, now uh, I am copying this and pasting it to the uh, the TS file, the component TS file. Okay, so we will do the set method here. Implement the set method here. Okay, so when user when the user clicks a button, we want to update the signals value. Okay, so um, um, signals value. So we can do this using the dot set method. Okay, so the click uh, this dot click count and then dot set and then click count uh, plus one. Okay, so it uh, if we click hit the button, then it uh, you can see uh, in the console as well as in the UI. Okay, uh, yeah, let me save all the files. Okay, you can see on the console uh, the count is uh, sorry on the UI the count is increasing when we click on the count signal button. Okay, so I'll uh, count signal button. Okay, so let me do the console as well there. Okay, so you can see in console as well. Okay, yeah, you can see in the console as well. Uh, the count is increasing if uh, we click on the count signal button. Okay, so so alternatively for more complex updates, uh, we can use the dot update method. Okay, so which provide the current value as an argument okay so here we can do uh, use the update method dot update method okay so here uh, i can write the count count then arrow function count plus one okay so it's uh, it's uh, okay so we can see if we, i click on the button uh, the code signal count signal button uh, the count is increasing so and that's how you can create and update the writable signals in angular 17 is a straight forward and efficient way to manage the state change uh, uh, second is the computed signal 
computed signals are derived from one or more writable signals they automatically update when they when any of the dependencies changes this is particularly useful for calculating values on the fly uh, values on the fly sorry let's create a computed signal that calculate the average score based on a list of score from our writable signal we have just scratched scratch the surface of what's possible with signals in angular 17 they offer a powerful and efficient way to manage state and i encourage you to start experimenting with them in your project thank you for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe for more angular content if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share yeah thank you for watching and happy coding